you have an important choice to make in your life. Who do you turn to when you have a choice and you want to get input? How do you know which choice is going to be in your highest and best interest? Well, the one person who matters most in your life, the one person who's going to have to live and face the consequences, be they favorable or not, in your life is you and only you. Therefore, who is the most important person to consult when you're making a choice? Well, it's you. And then how do you make that choice? If you're starting up here in your mind, you're going to be listening to the little voice which belongs to your ego. And your ego seeks to stay alive, to not be ignored, to not be dismissed. And so your ego pulls up all your fears and all your doubts and you don't get to have a clear choice if you're starting up in your mind. On the other hand, if you're starting in your heart, in your heart center, you're going to be making the choice that's going to propel your life in the direction of your dreams. Why? Because whatever choice you're making, that information is going to get attached with emotions, which become feelings. And what happens when an idea is connected with feelings, it goes out into the universe where it's heard, where it's understood, where it's interpreted, and the universe then sends right back to you exactly what you're asking for. In other words, the way to manifest what you want is to start from your heart. You know, you have five times the number of messages going heart to brain that you have going brain to heart. Well, if you didn't know that before, you know it now. That's one really good reason that's been verified scientifically. To go with your heart choice. Another thing about making a choice coming from your heart is you don't have to think in words. You don't have to create pictures. Just notice when you're making a choice or deciding between two choices, how do you feel? Do you feel relaxed? Do you feel at ease? Do you feel happy? Does it feel like that's the choice you can live with, that you want to live with? Or does it feel like, oh, kind of icky, kind of uncomfortable, kind of, no, nah, this isn't the right choice. You can count on your feelings to be accurate before you count on any words. Thoughts are made of words. That's why you don't start with thoughts. You start with your heart, with your emotions and your feelings about the next step you're taking in your life. And what's really, really cool, once you make that choice, and the universe will always respond directly to you because it speaks, it understands, it interprets feelings. So once you move forward with that choice, 
your world and all the pieces in it will fall into place. Things will start showing up for you. You got to start with being confident in yourself to make the best choices for you. Don't let other people tell you what is the best choice for you. If it's something like if I'm going to buy a new car or deciding where I want to live, those are choices where I'm going to do research because I want to make an informed decision. And every piece of that research, I'm noticing how do I feel about it. Let me give you a concrete example. I've been going to a well-known car servicing company. I don't know if they're national, but they certainly are all over the place. And they had a particular problem. And the problem had to do with a horrible odor in the car. And I paid them. They said, it's great. Everything's fixed. And we put deodorizer in there. Okay, right away, that was a red flag for me. If you got rid of the bad odor, why are you putting in a stinky, smelly thing to cover it up? And yeah, that's exactly what happened. The stinky, smelly, what they called deodorizer, was actually worse than the original odor. So once the stinky smell was gone and it took a few days, the other odor was still there. So I went back a second time and I waited for hours. I had an appointment. I waited for hours and they didn't take my car. And I waited for hours. And if I get stressed or upset, there's something that happens with my heart and I had to leave so I didn't go into a negative episode. So I made an appointment, the third appointment, an appointment again at a specific time. I go in the third time. And after 45 minutes, they still have not taken my car in to see what was going on. So right away in my heart, I'm saying there's something really really wrong. There's something really, really amiss. And I don't trust them. And those feelings were actually proven accurate because the guy came out a couple hours later and he said, there's nothing wrong that we can find. And in fact, the odor's not so bad and it's not really the smell of a dead animal. It's more medical. And I said, that's not accurate. The smell's been there for a couple of years, and that's not true. Go and find what's wrong. I've spent too many hours here. So then he goes back, and another hour later, he comes and he says, oh, I found the problem. He then shows me the problem, which made sense that it was the problem. But remember, before that, he said there wasn't anything wrong. So I'm already knowing in my heart that I don't trust these people. He says, I'm going to give you an estimate of what it'll cost to repair the problem. So he comes back with this estimate for an exorbitant amount, like close to $2,000. And I'm reading the estimate, and there are things that he's claiming need to be handled which I knew full well because I take really good care of my car. I take really good care of all my property. I knew that those things were not accurate, and he was just gouging me. Maybe it's because I'm a woman, but the thing that really got to me was the big sign in the waiting room that said, we don't give you any services you don't need. Well, that was an outright lie. And I told him that his estimate was inaccurate, that I didn't trust him, and I was leaving to take my car elsewhere. Which I did, because I trust myself 
because I trust my heart, because I know the messages I'm receiving are accurate and for me because they're coming directly from the universe. And your guides and your angels and the universe are sending you messages, are sending you guidance nonstop. Always have. Always will continue to do so. The thing that I learned is I am never, ever alone. And I never, ever have to make a choice alone without guidance. And the same is true for you. And if you do not know how to easily recognize, interpret, hear, see, feel, however your body responds to all the messages going on, you be sure and contact me. There's a link in the show notes because I will teach you exactly how to do it. And then when you know how to immediately ask a question and get an immediate response from your guides, from your angels, from the universe, that's always in your highest and best interest, your life flows so much more easily. So I drove my car home. I took it to, I love the way the universe works. The first place I took it, they couldn't handle fixing it until the middle of August. And I don't usually date what's going on, but I'm at the middle of July here. Not quite the middle of July. I couldn't let my car be in a state where I could get stuck in the middle of nowhere waiting that long. So the universe was telling me, hey, there's a place walking distance from where I live. Check it out. And I read all their reviews and I called and I was told, bring the car in today. We can't get to it for another week. However, I will take a look and I will tell you everything that's going wrong and what you absolutely need to take care of as soon as possible. Well, he called me the next morning and it wasn't a week and a half. He was already working on my car. That was such a gift from the universe. As I said, it's privately across the street from where I live. And they had fabulous reviews. And the people there are so incredibly nice. And I'm going to pick up my car the day after tomorrow, all fixed and most importantly, all safe. Because I trusted what was going on in my heart. Oh, and of course, his price. And I trusted that he's doing what he said he was going to do. And nothing extra. The price was a whole lot less than the first place that was a chain. You gotta trust yourself. Not listening to what other people are telling you, especially if it's somebody who's trying to sell you something. You gotta learn how to trust the people with whom you're gonna do business. You know, I thank you very, very much for being here today for this episode of Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember to join our Facebook group. You can ask questions. You'll find extra material in there. Make some new friends. Get a discussion going about how the invisible forces in the world are driving your choices and your behaviors in every moment because that's the whole point of a metaphysical ministry, the whole point of this podcast. And you can experience, watch, listen to any episode 
on our site link, which will also be in the show notes. Now, I told you I was going to have a book recommendation for you today. I told you that last time because I had a completely different talk all prepared. And I decided it was more important to do this than the other talk I had prepared. So that one kind of goes on hold for some time, maybe, in the future. This was what was most important the universe was telling me to share with you today. So instead of having the specific book, I was going to recommend the book that I have for you comes to you free with a 30-day trial from audible.com where you can go and choose the audiobook of your choice. Look around. There's so much to see. That's why I've been a member of Audible for years and I have a huge library. And because of my membership level, I get to go and download all these extra things besides what I'm paying for each month. Now, if you haven't yet done so, and you're new on your path to discover how the spiritual aspects of your life are guiding everything you do and every choice you make, download a copy of Step in a New Direction. It's a very quick read that when you apply the steps, your life is going to look different because you'll be behaving differently. You know, you can read things all you want, but if you don't apply what you're learning, what you're discovering, nothing in your world can change. <laughs> when you go into the Facebook group or you go to the show page and you want to leave a comment, please go ahead and do so because I read all my comments. I respond to all of them. I also throw out all the spam so you'll never see a spam comment coming up. <laughs> and remember to enjoy, capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment because nothing in your life happens outside of you. It all happens within your body, mind, always starting with your heart.